Could Charles Darwin's theory of evolution be inherently racist? This question may seem provocative, yet the evidence suggests that this may indeed be the case. To understand this, it's important to delve into the history and evolution of Darwin's theory and its implications on modern society. In the mid-19th century, in his book On the Origin of Species by Means of Natural Selection or the Preservation of Favoured Races in the Struggle for Life, Charles Darwin proposed his theory of evolution, a groundbreaking concept that forever altered our understanding of the natural world. Yet, in his subsequent book Descent of Man, where Darwin further developed his theory in regards to human origins in particular, Darwin wrote something that may shock many. At some future period, not very distant as measured by centuries, the civilized races of man will almost certainly exterminate and replace the savage races throughout the world. At the same time, the anthropomorphous apes, as Professor Schaffhausen has remarked, will no doubt be exterminated. This statement, laden with the presumption of a racial hierarchy, is not incidental to Darwin's case for evolution. In the 2020 article, Darwinism and No Lives Matter, stated Darwin's racism is not incidental to his case for evolution. He also used it as evidence for his theory. He believed that different races of humans represented biological variations in intelligence, moral capacity and more on which the natural selection process could work, just as it could on finch beaks. His conclusion of a racial hierarchy with Africans at the bottom, his projection of eventual racial extermination, were no stray inference. In short, blatant racism is not a bug in his theory, but is a defining feature of Darwin's theory. Fast forward to the 21st century and the debate around Darwin's theory and its racial implications continues. Scholars Adrian Desmond and James Moore in their book Darwin's Sacred Cause, Race, Slavery and the Quest for Human Origins by examining Darwin's personal correspondence attempted to distance Darwin from this blatant racism inherent within his own theory, portraying him as an avid anti-slavery abolitionist. However, the actual text of Darwin's books, as revealed by Austin Anderson in his article The Dark Side of Darwinism, remains revealing and conclusive, trumping whatever his personal beliefs may have been, indicating the brutal racism and white supremacism found in the actual text of his theory, is a defining feature of his theory. Moreover, Robert Schedinger, in a series of articles beginning with Sacred Cause, Reconsidering Charles Darwin as abolitionist and concluding with a failed attempt to turn Darwin into Wilberforce, a series of articles which examined the actual footnotes cited by Adrian Desmond and James Moore to try to defend Darwin, Schedinger found that Desmond and Moore's attempt to separate Darwin from the racist ideology inherent within his own theory failed, finding that their arguments were highly questionable and dubious. He stated that it turns out that these highly esteemed scholars, Desmond and Moore, play fast and loose with their sources and with basic tenets of historiographical research. Some defenders of Darwin's theory try to claim that was then, this is now. Darwin's theory has evolved past the blatant racism that was originally inherent within it. Yet the racism inherent in Darwin's theory is still with us today. In his 2021 article, Human Evolution as a Path to Whiteness, David Klinghoffer notes, entering the Smithsonian's Hall of Human Origins, the viewer is greeted by a panorama of species becoming more white as they evolve. In contemporary museum displays and other evolutionary depictions, just as in Darwin's Descent of Man, and in the notorious civic biology textbook that was at issue in the 1925 Scopes trial, Human origins are portrayed as an upward progress from dark to white. Modern man, Homo sapiens, is almost invariably white and European, not African or Asian. Klinghoffer even challenges readers to Google the phrase human evolution for themselves to see many other examples of this path to whiteness. In conclusion, while there have been attempts to distance Darwin from the racist ideology inherent in his own theory, the evidence suggests that Darwin's theory of evolution is indeed inherently racist. When faced with the overwhelming evidence that Darwin's theory is inherently and irredeemably racist, some defenders of Darwin's theory have resorted to claiming that the racist implications of Darwin's theory have no bearing on whether Darwin's theory is actually true or not. 
Yet Francis Bacon, a devout Christian and the father of empirical science, would wholeheartedly disagree with them. He stated, Of all signs there is none more certain or worthy than that of the fruits produced. For the fruits and effects are the sureties and vouchers, as it were, for the truth of philosophy. And it is clear that the fruits of Darwin's theory have left a bitter taste in the mouth of humanity. A bitter taste that clearly indicates Darwin's theory can't possibly be the true theory of human origins.